know you're already looking to be that ace in the skies, huh? Battlefield 1's closed alpha is by no means a final product. But it does give us a solid start in understanding what we can expect from the air combat. So strap in and flip on that autopilot, baby. We're flight schooling. The basics. Swap between third and first person views often. When you're making a tight turn, switch to third person to better grasp where that bogey is heading. First person will often block your view. Only use it for precision shots and also for free look scouting your six o'clock and the field in general. Spawning into a plane grants you the repair ability. And with BF1's new contextual damage, repairing in flight is essential because depending on where you received damage, your plane's movement is affected. I.e., if your tail rudder is shot to hell, the speed in which you pitch is affected, meaning you're outmatched in a dogfight. John, I'm sorry. They got us. Each repair cycle grants you 25% health, but typically only one is needed to get your movement back. The thing about repairing is it makes your vehicle inoperable, and you also can't be taking any damage. So now you have two repairing rules. One, before you repair, make sure you're gaining altitude and leveled out. Two, avoid combat. Be at high altitude and hug the outskirts of the map. Oh, and definitely make sure you're not heading out of bounds. Contextual damage is also a factor when attacking other planes. It's best to spread your hail of bullets around, more or less. In general, you're judging your bogey speed and leading your shots. If you've managed to shoot up the bomber's left wings, move on. Once the damage is done to an aileron or rudder, that's it. Move your focus elsewhere and affect the plane's different parts of movement. Even though inflicting wing and rudder damage is a plus, the real sweet spots are the engines, pilot seat, and if he's really bugging you, the rear gunner. And once he's a sitting duck, be persistent. If they know better, they'll try to shake you and repair back to normal. Basic stuff, right? Planes! In Alpha, you got three. The bomber is easily the best way to help your team on the ground. Only problem is it's probably the only plane that is utterly desperate for gunners. But hey, if you got no gunners, just do yourself. You are a giant sky crawling bullet sponge. And practically every single person in the match can see that. So stay high in the sky in order to stay away from the anti-air gun range and other ground fire. There you drop two types of payloads, two big bombs or a cluster of little bombs. These kind of speak for themselves. Big bombs for armor, and then mop up with the clusters, which are also best for carpeting infantry. This third ability, I believe is recon. I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments if you know, I'm sorry. The fighter, to simply put, is an air-to-air -air combat plane. Your duty is to defend your bombers and take enemy air down. Compared to other planes, the triplane's gun has great distance and minor bullet drop, making it prime as a hit-and-run flying sniper. Its superior speed and agility make up for its weak health, so when taking down bombers and attack planes, attacking from below and above is your best bet. You're trying to avoid a gunner's line of sight. The attack plane is your middleman. All in all, it's your default, and you can do all right without a gunner. And your grenade bombs allow for some ground support. However, these grenade bombs are by no means powerful. In fact, it's probably best to just hunt infantry and armored cars. Do consider gaining much altitude and dive bombing. Doing this allows your grenades to group up, inflicting more damage in one area. You're also rocking spotting flares, so don't forget to launch these over capture points. They do help. And then there's the elephant in the room. Just listen for that foghorn because this cruise ship has arrived to the Bahamas. It's the behemoth. If it's open, do take that pilot seat. Its third person view isn't very helpful, so gauge your surroundings in first person and then switch to your bomb sites and get busy. Your bomb cooldown is consistent, meaning the longer you wait, the more bombs you can potentially drop at once. Your goal is to move to capture points that are being attacked. And just bomb, baby. And then gunners. If you have a full working behemoth, you can decimate the entire town. Top two turrets work the skies, and for ground you got two side turrets and the money spot. The five seat has the front 180 view. Best seat in the house. And as far as taking down the enemy behemoth, ground turrets and planes aren't hitting the blimp portion, but the gondolas. Knock an enemy gondola out, and you knock out the gunners inside it, as well as doing overall damage to this beast. And a side note, if you're piloting a doomed behemoth destined to crash, why not position its carcass over an enemy capture point? Use the behemoth wreckage and mold the map to your liking. Well, that's it for this starter guide for air combat. Again, this is only an alpha, meaning all of this is technically up for change. But if you have any pointers or questions, feel free to leave a comment 
and be sure to subscribe for more Battlefield 1 coverage. Thanks for watching.